everybody. This is Chelsea from Talk Nerdy to Me. I want to take a minute to talk about something that I feel like I haven't seen on Book Talk and I haven't seen talked about, which is regular mom book talk. By that I mean I'm a regular mom. I have two very tiny toddlers, ages two and four, girls, and I see people, it does seem like kind of a competition on book talk of how many books you can read in a year, how many books you can read in the month. I've seen people wrap up with most of them over 100 books for the year, which is wonderful. Uh, great. I wish, I wish I could, but I'm lucky if I get through a book a month and that's being very generous. So I think I started this journey in the summer when my best friend summoned me to start reading smutty books with her. I started and I tried to read Ice Planet Barbarians and I wasn't into it. Then we kind of started picking our own books. Fast forward, I think I read seven books for the year. They were all good books, but I just want to normalize that. I want to normalize being a mom that's exhausted, that loves to read, that actually has too much of a TBR a very, very huge TBR. Like I said, I'm lucky if I can get through a book a month. I do remember, I think, I'm probably missing some that I'm forgetting, but what I do remember is I read, my first book was Promises and Pomegranates. Anything that's a Hades and Persephone trope, I'll eat it up. I don't care. It can even be terrible, but I really liked that book. The second book I read was Neon Gods, which will forever be one of my favorite books, even if it's not one of my kinks. I don't care. Loved it. Also, Hades and Persephone trope ate it up. Next book was Fourth Wing because my best friend harassed me and it took me like two months to read Fourth Wing because it was like so thick. I'm always chasing after a baby and when I get home, like, well, I am home. When I'm done and I sit down in the middle of the night and I have a minute, I am able to read probably about a chapter but sometimes I'm just way too exhausted and my eyes are bleary and I just don't have anything left in me. I finished Fourth Wing. I was obsessed with it. I devoured it as fast as I could. Then I read Mexican Gothic, which is one of my favorite books of all time. I'm obsessed with Silvia Moreno Garcia. She's an autobi author for me. Then I made my best friend read that and we buddy read it and it was great. Then after that, I read Vampires of El Norte by Isabel Cañas and I also obsessed with that book, devoured it. I tried to read Starling House. I hated that book, I hated it. If you know what I'm talking about, my giant, very messy, very unorganized, ridiculous bookshelf. There's books actually behind all these books and there's some of, some of my slimes. I just wanna normalize that. I don't have a hundred books to wrap up. I don't have top 10 of the year cause I didn't even get to a top 10, but I just wanna normalize being a mom that likes to read that reads as much as she can. With that, stay nerdy. I uh, hope I get some somebody that understands where I'm coming from.